Okay, folks, this is what we're going to be creating. Creating this little tutorial. It might not become so little. This is just a very quick overview. And what you see right now is a 1K segment. I'm using the Power of 2 grid because of my Power of 2 die hard. And when I can't use the Power of 2 anymore in the Unreal Engine, then I will yeah, go to the new system. I just like it. I'm used to working this way. You can work with any grid you want as long as it snaps the grid in your engine. Um, that your modular pieces are square. It does not have to be, you know, if you've got this in your level and you've got light in your level, it's going, you're going to get light bleeding because it's just one side. So you can make this, you can add thickness to this on the other side. Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. As you can see, it's uh, it's one K, and it's perfectly modular on both sides. How do we achieve this? I'll just go through this very quickly. I'll flip this so you get a better look at it. Um, okay. If you want 1K segment, you have to make it longer because you're going to cut these ends and these ends in mesh mixer. And I'll just do that quickly now. Yes. Okay, so let's say you've cut this in mix mesh, mix mesh mixer. And you're gonna do a 90 degree cut right down the middle of it, because that makes it modular. So I'll split those. I'll stick a color on here so you can see what I'm talking about for those of you who don't know. Okay, so you've got your two halves, high polys. Rotate it 180, the left side, and rotate the right side, minus 180, and you can see that that is my exact modular on the left side and the right side. So I just treat the, the high poly as the normal map, modular normal map. You're gonna you're gonna get from this. This was my the whole idea. I don't know if anyone's done this before. I probably have. Just didn't find anything. And um, mesh mixer is easy on your system. You've got high density meshes. You can cut them very easily. Um, I'll show you a mesh mixer. As I say, this is just a quick overview. We'll be getting down into the nitty gritty in the next part. And we'll go from base mesh to sculpt, to cut, and how to clean up the the high poly once you've cut. Because if you, once you rotate this inwards, the sculpt on the outsides, which are not modular, are going to be in the middle. So you're going to get a mess that needs to be fixed. I thought it would be tedious, it actually turned out not to be that tedious, so this is a uh, mesh mixer. This is a sculpt, rocky top, rocky bottom, sides, smooth rock, very quickly, didn't spend any time at all on this. First you have to set up your units, I've just set mine to the same grid as Moodle. Done. And you'll be cutting this side off, cutting this side off, go to edit. Clean cut. The cut tool just snaps to the angle dial, which is really nice. You don't want it filled, and except, well, you'll export that part out. As your left side, I just use Control Z a few times. To reset the tool, and I recommend you do go back and reset the tool for every cut. 
it rules out any nasty artifacts that can arise if you don't do this. Except and then you export that part out. But you cut these ends off first. So you get them two five twelve segments. So that's just a quick overview of uh Autodesk. Uh, go back to the high poly, explain how to fix it up. Okay, in the middle here, I fixed this, which actually was pretty simple to do. As you just, let's say this is your, um, let's say this is just your cut down the middle. This is not in the middle, as you can see. At the edges of these, um, of this cut that you get from mesh mixer is nasty, just really nasty triangles, and you want to get rid of it. You move over three polys to this edge loop, split it, and three polys to this edge loop, split that, and now you've got a big gap in the middle. Use your bridge tool. Bridge it over one, two, three, four, five, six, six polys, so that will be filled just roughly about the same size. You might get some extra loops, you can just you can always delete them. Go down to your lists, polys by vertex, and then you'll see which is quad and which you just select your quads, triangulate it, and then you've got a lovely big dirty seam going right around the circumference of your mesh and you don't need to do this uh, cylinder type shapes you can do it in any shape squares work too everything works just as long as you get these uh, outsides modular and then your normal map will be perfectly modular um, throw that in the mud box and again we'll be doing this um, real time in the next part just use the smooth brush, have it about roughly the same size as the seam. Smooth that all out, right around the circumference. And re sculpt. That's all I've done here. And this also gives you the opportunity to make several different versions of your normal map. So you could smooth different parts out here to get rid of that repetition. And this way, in my opinion, is better than mirroring. Mirroring is like bloody wallpaper every time at the end of each uh, uh, join. So when you join two modular parts of the same, and one modular part and duplicate it, you get this horrible wallpaper effect, mirror effect in the middle, and it just looks shite. This way, you don't. You get the, of course, the repetition, but there's easy ways to, to solve that out, and I just explained one, making making more normal maps different variations. Also tried a 1K on a this normal map on a bend. Same procedure, make it slightly longer. And cut it, that would be your low poly, because actually cutting a 90 degrees in half, so two times forty five, and then trying to flip them, rotate them and get them to line up is just a nightmare and just don't, I don't go there. I tried it, I'm not going to go there. It's just madness. It doesn't need, need to uh, be more complicated than it already is. So that normal map, this one, fit on a bend. You get slight uh, compression with the bend goes around with the clock here and slight stretch in here. Very slight. It's, it's almost unnoticeable. And of course the, the sharpness of your bend is and the amount of polys that you have is, uh, uh, what do you call it, will decrease or increase the quality of your normal map. So that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next part. And this is my first, very first tutorial, guys, so be gentle with me. And, uh, I'll be back soon with a new uh, workflow, the 
start to finish basically. I'll do it in two parts. This is the one to uh, my upload speeds crap. I'm just going to upload this uh, to YouTube. And that's a wrap. Bye bye.